the power buoy is designed to minimize its surface expression. It means that very little of it is actually visible at the, above the uh, sea surface. The vast majority of it sits below the water. It is designed to operate in the harshest environment in the ocean that we anticipate the power buoy to operate in, and that is the North Sea. The other thing is the power buoy is capable of providing both power and communications to sensors that sit in the water that's around the power buoy or in the seabed. That's what this cable that you see here uh, is designed to do. Most of the known interfaces, both for comms and power, were designed into the power buoy uh, to support these various sensors. However, we're also able to customize to meet specific customer application demand. The power buoy itself is designed to support two or three or one mooring leg designs, depending on where the buoy is deployed and what the customer application is. So we are on the top end of the power buoy. This is the yellow part that actually uh, is visible at the surface of the, of the water. The power buoy is, a, is an integrated platform that uh, basically provides its own power from the heaving motion of the waves and also real-time communication and data collection. This part here that we call the float is actually what heaves up and down with the waves and then the whole embedded power system inside then converts that motion into electricity and stores it into a battery system. Over here you can see the top of the power buoy. This is where all of our communication equipment to include satellite, 3G, 4G and Wi-Fi is integrated. Uh, in addition to that we have all standard interfaces to accommodate electrical as well as communication equipment beyond what's already on the power buoy including video cameras, uh, weather stations. In the past we did uh, HF radar and other types of sensors. Tremendous consideration was given to the transportation as well as the deployment of the power buoy in terms of using equipment that is standard, but also using means that are available in normal ocean operation and maritime environment. Uh, one thing that we incorporate into the power buoy is an auto ballast system. The power buoy gets deployed in the ocean in a horizontal position and then uh, once it's in the water, a push of a button will basically make it turn vertical and its operation starts at that point. Accelerated life testing is a procedure or a process that is used in industries such as aerospace and defense and automotive and so we adopted it to the needs of our power buoy in order to validate its performance across a plethora of operating conditions and have the data that supports our performance claims, particularly as it relates to maintenance requirements, life, reliability and overall performance.